So for the first A-level taster session, we're going to look at something slightly different to do with graphs, but in a different format to what you'd usually see. So if you have a look at this uh, image on the screen now, it's of a man throwing a basketball at a hoop. There's one picture of the basketball on its flight, so on the path that it's taken from the man's hand. And what I want you to do is think about, will that get in the hoop or not? Could you think about the path it could have taken from the man to get to the hoop if it went in and just kind of draw that or look at where it would be, think about what it would, the, the path that it would follow and the kind of shape it would make. And then think about if it weren't to go in the net, so if it didn't go in, what an alternative path that it could have taken. And again, think about the shape of that path. Did you get the same shape for both? Did you get a different shape? What were the similarities and what were the differences between those? Were they both symmetrical? Now, if I give you a second image, so a second point on the route that that ball's taken, what does that do to the route? What does that do to determine whether the ball goes in the net or not? Does that change what you're thinking? So if you look now, there's a second uh, example, a second point on the route that that ball's taken. It's kind of just above his head, if you can't see that. So the ball started there. The one above the tree is another point on the route. So could you use those to draw a route that the ball's taken when it would go in the net, and then an alternative where it doesn't go in the net? Again, think about those things that you're drawing. You've now got two points on a line. What kind of line is it? If I now show you a third point, what would that do to alter your, your view? So you've now got three points. Could you draw an accurate route that that ball's taken? How certain are you now, whether it went in the hoop or not? Could you draw a route when it does go in and one when it doesn't go in? Or is there only one answer to that now? So if I show you the actual video of the man throwing the ball in, I want you to compare your route that you've decided to the one that the ball actually takes. And just think about, are you correct? What did you get right? What could you change? What, were you, what was different? So... Okay, so let's have a look at that route. So, ah, so you'll notice it doesn't actually go in the net, but there it shows you the route that that ball's taken. You were given three points on that. Does your route match up with this? And what kind of curve is this? What kind of line is this? I've given part of that away. It is a curve. If I changed one point, if I changed the point at the top, would that change the full shape of it? Is this symmetrical? Those are the things I want you to think about. What I'm going to give you now is a number of different shots. And I want the first half of the shot is given to you. I want you to decide whether that's going to go in the hoop. So again, think about those same things. Okay, the last one we looked at showed a parabola that was symmetrical. Let's have a look at it again. It showed a parabola, okay? And that parabola, that negative x squared curve, that shape, it was symmetrical. Now, if we're saying that that's gonna happen again, let's think about these and de decide whether you think they would go in or not. So A, would that go in the net? B, and for each of these, I suggest that you pause it at that point and decide for yourself is it going to go in or not
and which of those would, which of those wouldn't. Now to help you with that, what I suggest, if you type in GeoGebra, Basketball and Ted Co, it would pull up this site here. And on this, here we've got three balls, all on the same route, that I can move around. So actually if I decide to use that previous video and think, well actually the first one looks similar to this. Now I can use that to help me, help me think about, will that ball following that route go in the net or not? And then if I go show path, it actually tells me where that would go to see if I'm correct. And then I can move them. So actually, if that one was there, would that go in the net? There it would. What if it was closer? Could I get it in the net? Yeah. There. Or it would actually also show me the graph, so the equation of that line. So it's a negative x squared, as we said already. But what do each of those numbers mean? And this would actually show me that's the route that the ball would take. So potentially if I move those there and there, would that ball go in? Mm, not quite. So what I'd like you to do, use that video that we looked at. Okay, so again, go back, pause where you need to, and then just have a play around. Do you think each of those will go in the net or not? And have a think about why.